Okay, so if we take a look at this example here, if we want to plot this, it will look something like this. So we're talking about mixed costs that already assumes that we have a portion of fixed and a portion that's considered variable. Okay, so the variable portion is the part that we're dealing with first. Let's say that we have 19, 900 hours of using the machine and we also used it in the other month, 14 hours. This incurred a cost at a level of 2,600 and 2,800. So if we want to figure out the slope for this graph, again, it's the increased rate for this variable cost. We'll be using the differences between the number of hours of usage and the differences between the cost incurred in these two years. Okay, so we'll be calculating 200 over the 500 hours, which will give us a rate of 0.4. So this point four means per hours of using the machinery equipment, we incur the utility bill 0.40 cents, okay? So what do we do with this? This is step one, we got 0 0.4. What's the second step? Multiply by any points, okay? So let's just choose 400. So if we use 400 data points, I'm sorry, yes, 1400, thank you. 1400 hours multiplied by the rate 0.4 should be able to get 560 and this is the variable cost, right? So the total cost we know is how much? 280 is the total cost and the variable cost is 560 so we should be able to get 2022, yes. Okay, so this $2240 is the fixed portion of this equation here. So if we want to put it all together, it would look like the total cost of utility bill would equal the fixed cost portion plus the variable cost rate multiplied by hours. Okay, so the differences in using the hours will, will cause us to have a different utility bill incurred. Just find two, whichever two data points, which this problem only gave us two, the differences between the hours, and use it to divide the differences in the total cost to figure out the slope, which is the rate of variable cost incurred. So this slope here, we use, just plug it in any data points to figure out the total variable costs, and then minus from the total cost to figure out the fixed portion. Okay, so if you were to plot, plot this in a graph, this portion here is the fixed cost that no matter how many hours the machine has been used, you will incur this cost, $2,240. Okay, so again, the purpose of doing this, we want to find a way to do budgeting, right? Budgeting for these type of costs. So here's another problem that links to this. If we anticipate this business will be using 1,200 machine hours in the next month, based on this year's information, what would be the expected utility bill? So we have the equation done from last year's information, and we expect that this can be applied to next year as well. And we expect we were using the machine, 1,200 machine hours, and what would be the cost incurred? 2,720, and you got it from, okay, 40 cents and multiply by the machine hours. Okay, so 0.4 multiply 1,200 will give you 480. Okay, so 480 then plus the 240 would give you, okay, 2720. 
Now this equation, as I said earlier, we have different relevant ranges in the business. So this equation is only useful for a certain range. Imagine if the company expands to the second range, they may have a fixed cost that no longer is $2,240 and may be, for example, $3,000 if the machine hours exceeds its usage to, let's say, 3,000 hours regularly in a year or somewhere around that number. Okay, so this equation is only useful for a certain relevant range. If you bump into the second range, perhaps the variable cost would also be increased to a dollar per event or a dollar per machine hours being used. You will have a different equation. Okay, so this is just the basic idea of how we decompose the information in mixed cost. If you just look at the bill, are you able to go backwards and figure out how the information is being captured, being calculated? Okay, now the next one here, I'm just going to show you what the data points would look like. So we had two months information by, from the problem, and then we just calculated the one with 1,200 hours. So we're to plot it, it would look like this. And again, it doesn't start from zero because this is the fixed cost portion. Okay, and then the upper part, the reason why it is graphed that way is because the slope is 40 cents. Of course, if the slope is higher, the graph will be steeper. Okay, if it's lower, it will be flatter. Uh, what is the thing that you said you're going to write instead of this? Oh, you mean like y? Yeah, y? Y equals ax. Well, the idea is the same. If you put it down, well, the problem probably will be asking what is the total cost or what is the equation. If you put it that way, that's fine. I will understand. Okay. Uh, but chapter 19, just uh, for clarification, is not on midterm one. So don't worry about this until the second midterm. But I want to go through some of the concepts for next.